Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about the mechanism of enzyme action. Before going into details of the mechanism of enzyme action, first we will see what is an active site. So active site is a part of or like it's a site on a enzyme. Like uh, if I say, so this part will be like active site. Okay. So now you can say active site is nothing but it's a small area or pocket or a region. Okay. Where substrate will go and bind to the enzyme. You see here in the above reaction enzyme plus substrate. Okay. So where this substrate will go and bind to the enzyme. So this is active site. And what is the speciality of this active site? So active sites are mainly concerned for the attachment with the substrate. Substrate will not go and bind to any other place of the enzyme. So it will identify the place where it is suitable to bind up. Okay, so that place is active site and the, what is the specific or specialities of active site? Active sites are nothing but a small area or region made up of few amino acids like you can say 10 to 15 amino acids. So it depends enzyme to enzyme the uh, uh, number of amino acids and also the type of amino acids because a uh, few enzymes uh, based on their function. So few enzymes are like catalyzing at uh, like what to say uh, acting at uh, acidic environment, few enzymes at alkaline environment and the composition also vary. So some enzymes active sites are rich of acidic amino acids, some enzymes uh, active sites are rich of basic amino acids, some enzymes are rich of hydroxyl containing amino acids and some enzymes active site rich of sulfur containing amino acids. So it this active site composition uh, based on the enzyme function and especially this active site is made up of 10 to 15 amino acids roughly and again of two types like uh, active site one is binding site and other is catalytic site okay binding site is a, a thing again it varies so catalytic site is hardly to to make up like a, Two to four amino acids so actually this is the area where like you can make out here so this is catalytic site so yellow so enzyme i mentioned red color so in that green color is active site okay and this is catalytic site so catalytic site is also made up of amino acids but the composition varies from the active site it is made up of two to four amino acids so first when substrate will go and bind to the active site of uh, like a binding site okay then it will make changes in the catalytic site so that it will create environment for the catalysis i mean that means the reaction to forward like uh, making the catalysis and uh, breaking of substances in substrate and converting into product so that is the uh, thing about active site so based on the composition and number of amino acids okay the function of enzyme will vary so coming to the action mechanism of action so enzyme first substrate directly will not be converted to product first substrate has to bind to enzyme okay then they have to make a complex called enzyme substrate complex then enzyme has to separate from the enzyme substrate complex uh, enzyme substrate complex to make free product Okay, so this is the sequence of mechanism of enzyme action. First substrate will go and bind to the enzyme and they make an enzyme substrate complex. So that means substrate first will go and bind to the binding, sort, uh, binding site of active site because in active site two sites are there binding site and catalytic site. So as substrate is go and bind to the uh, active site of enzyme it will go first bind to the binding site. So then once this binding completes then catalytic site starts working on that substrate and brings a lot of changes in the substrate and convert the substrate into product right so this is a sequence of mechanism so substrate is bind through non-covalent interaction so what type like substrate how it is binding to enzyme through non-covalent uh, interactions like hydrogen bond disulfide linkage and uh, electrostatic interactions so as i mentioned that active site is made up of amino acids it depends based on the type of amino acids where i mean like it is made up of like acidic amino acids basic hydroxyl group containing or sulfur containing amino acids okay so the active site of enzyme is the region that binds substrate which contains specific amino acid residues that's what we are mentioning about and here 
this mechanism of enzyme action famously explained by two theories one is lock and key and other one is inducer fit model okay so this lock and key model has been like explained by email fisher okay and it is like a rigid template model okay and inducer fit model it has been explained by the scientist daniel koshland okay so according to him it is like uh, when substance go and bind to the enzyme it causes some conformational changes in the structure of the enzyme and fits uh, more i mean makes uh, substrate more compatible to bind with the enzyme so now we'll study individually so what are the pros and cons of uh, the each theory okay so lock and key model it is otherwise rigid template model as i mentioned it is proposed by email fisher so according to this theory enzyme is three shape that means if this is the shape of the enzyme okay so that's all it is fixed so to this any substance any substrate of particular shape what is the enzyme is having that only will go and bind right so again i am drawing here so this is a enzyme this is substrate a green color is substrate red color is enzyme okay so this is es complex so that means only whatever the enzyme uh, whatever the shape that enzyme is having okay so according to that shape any substrate is suitable that particular substrate only will go and bind that means complementary the structure of both enzyme and substrate has to be complementary to each other okay substrate fits into the active site in much same way that key so you might know so each lock and key like what to say that's what the theory uh, named as lock and key so lock has specific key okay there are different locks which are all having different different keys that means particular key will open the particular lock same way particular substrate will go and bind to the particular enzyme which is complementary in their shape you can make out here you see active sites are here like this okay enzyme and substrate so here the substrate the shape of the substrate is complementary to the active site of enzyme so that only it is nicely fitting inside okay if it is like a uh, this uh, square or round shape okay it will not fit into the active site of the enzyme so this model explains all mechanisms uh, but do not explain the changes in the enzyme activity in presence of modulator that means there are some modulators which uh, create some changes in conformation of enzyme to make more feasibility in binding of substrate to the particular enzyme okay so that means it is rigid model so particular shape that like a particular key will open the particular lock same way particular substrate which is a substrate which is in a complementary in shape to the enzyme will only will bind okay so it is not that famous so this is only the disadvantage of uh, this theory okay now coming to the inducer fit model okay so it is proposed by daniel koshland so according to this theory enzymes are flexible that means let whatever the shape substrate have okay enzyme will convert into that shape and take that substrate so that is the positive point of this theory the shape of active site can be modified by the binding of substrate so uh, here i if i take example so this is the shape but this is the shape of the enzyme so this is substrate but it will not fit because the shape of substrate is different and the enzyme shape is also different then how according to this theory enzyme will change its shape enzyme will change its shape and allows substrate to fit you can see here initially the shape is different okay so as a substrate is coming near to the enzyme there will be uh, like substrate inducing okay some conformational changes in active site of enzyme and it is changing the shape is to according to the substrate shape and you know, there is a perfect fitting of substrate into the active site of the enzyme so that is a positive point of uh, this theory okay substrate induces conformational changes in the enzyme so conformational change in enzyme induces reciprocal changes and its bound substrate that alters their orientation and configuration that means that strains the structure of bound substrate okay so intrinsic binding binding energy is liberated so that is another uh, positive aspect and intrinsic binding energy converts substrate into product so here not only changing the conformation of uh, active site of enzyme but also it inducing uh, like uh, intrinsic binding energy to convert substrate into product you can make out here you see the shape of enzyme is totally different from the substrate so when enzyme is uh, coming nearer it forms enzyme substrate complex it causes 
some changes in enzyme substrate complex and finally it gives the product and free enzyme though the shape of substrate is different from the shape of active site of enzyme okay this substrate inducing some conformational changes in the active site so that substrate can fit into that enzyme active site and makes a transition state of enzyme substrate complex and forms a product so that's all about mechanism of enzyme action thanks for listening thank you